What's up, Facebook Live? I ain't been on this page in a while. So I'm checking in, letting y'all know I'm still good. But as I did on my other page, um, just this morning inspiration has really been burning and, hit, and hitting me hard. So I know I don't get many views on this page, but this is my church page. This is a page where, you know, I keep it sanctified. My other page, everything goes on, but that's my main page. But this morning, I got that on the other page, Exodus 17, 11, because God's been really working on me with this one. Something else he's been working with me on that he hasn't allowed me to release just yet, but I know it's about to drop, And but stay tuned. But this morning, Exodus 17, 11, is pretty much talking about the battle between the Israelites and the Amalekites, where this is the first battle that the Israelites went into since they left captivity. So the battle took place and Moses put his hands up to let, you know, to submission to God. And as his hands was up, because Joshua was leading the battle, so Joshua couldn't stand on the side of him. But Joshua was leading the battle. Moses was standing on a hilltop on a, on a, in a distance and he was watching the battle. And as he's watching the battle, he started to notice that the Amalekites was taking heed and lead over the Israelites, which means they were winning the battle. So what Moses did was he put his hands up into submission to God. And when he put his hands up, he started to notice that, hey, we're winning. Aaron and her, who was behind them, started watching the same thing. And they started noticing as Moses kept his hands up, they were winning. Moses started getting weak. Moses started getting a little weary and his hands started to fall. Aaron and her seen as his hands was falling and they noticed that the Amalekites were now overtaking the Israelites. They came and they lifted up Moses' hands. And as they lifted up Moses' hands, the Israelites began now to take lead over the Amalekites so in this battle of life in this battle that's going on we got to remember that when we are in battle we have to keep our hands up in submission to Christ a boxing metaphor a boxing metaphor is when you go to box you got to keep your hands up which therefore means you got to keep your hands up to protect your face but in this situation you got to keep your hands up to God so as the Amalekites and the Israelites were in war, the Israelites were winning all because Moses kept his hands up. So as you're in this battle, as you're going through, just remember, keep your hands up because that's going to protect you. Keep your hands up and surrender to Christ because when you keep your hands up and surrender to Christ, you begin to see how the war and the battle is in your hands. So remember, as you're keeping your hands up, you also got to remember not only do you have to keep your hands up, but you got to have the right people in your corner. Just like in boxing, just like in This Is Life, you have to have the right people in your corner. Because if you don't have the right people in your corner, they're going to tell you the wrong things. They're going to watch you fall. They're going to watch you fail. That's why when boxers train, they have their little corner. They have the right people backing them. They have the right people telling them what they need to do, what they're observing, and how they can win the battle. So when you're in the midst of something, watch how who's in your corner, watch who's talking to you, watch who's in your ear, because the right people is going to make sure that you're doing the right thing. The right people is going to push you and elevate you to do better. So just know, when you're in this battle, when you're going through this war, and you're going through these trials and tribulations, just keep your hands up, because the battle is going to become yours. One of my good friends, my cousin, Pastor Charlotte Holly, sings this song that is, Ain't No Need to Worry about what the night is going to bring because it's going to be all over in the morning. So in the midst of your battles, in the midst of your storms, don't stress, don't worry because thing is going to be over in the morning. But keep your hands up in adoration to God. Keep your hands up in surrenderance to Christ because no matter how much things may seem to be going against you, no matter how strong or how hard the battle may seem, trust and know that God is still able to bring you through because if he brought you to it, he can bring you through it. 
don't worry about what they, the naysayers are saying. Don't worry about what may not have happened when you thought it was going to happen. Don't worry about it. it's not working the way you thought it was going to work because God has an ultimate plan for our lives. And when he has his ultimate plan for our lives, we have to trust and believe that he's going to bring us through. The songwriter said, if he brought me to it, I know he's going to bring me through it. So if he brought me to this battle, just like he brought the Israelites to, to this battle with the Amalekites while they were in the desert, he's going to bring you to it. But if you keep your hands up in adoration to Christ, he's going to bring you through. So don't stress over lose over a losing battle because when you have the right people in your corner, keep your hands posted, keep your hands lifted, God is going to bring you through. So no matter how tough the battle may seem, the Amalekites looked big and strong to the Israelites. They didn't know how they were going to get through. They didn't know if they were going to win this battle, but they trusted enough that God is going to bring them through. So I'm telling you, no matter what storms may come, no matter how hard things may seem, just know that God is still able to bring you through. So keep your hands up. Keep the right people in your corner because the right people in your corner is going to push you. The right people in your corner is going to tell you what you need to do to keep winning. And don't worry about anything because when you trust in God, never doubt, keep the faith and believe he's going to bring you through. So just know if things don't seem the way they're supposed to be going or seem right, just trust in God because he is not, he never sleeps and he never slumbers. He keeps on making ways out of no way. So when you find yourself in a losing battle, you find yourself not knowing which way to go, which way to turn, how you're going to make it through, just keep your hands up and watch God make a way. So as I'm going to close, I know if people say, oh, you should make this so long, so much longer. That's not me. I'm not that type of person. I do my morning inspiration because this is what God gives me. I don't do it every day. I do it only when God puts it on me to get to do or when he's fighting me to do it. But one thing that I've learned is that to be submissive to what God is saying. So in this battle that I'm going through, I'm keeping my hands up because if I don't keep my hands up, I know I'm, going, I'm not going to win this battle. So as I know that God has me, God is making the way, but I do trust and believe that if my hands stay up and I have the right people in my back and the right people in my corner, and my hands start getting heavy and start getting weary, that they're going to come lift my hands up and keep me lifted. So remember, God loves you. I love you. And just keep on keep your hands up. Love you all. Whenever you see this, this is morning time for me, but I got to get ready to do some other stuff. But listen, it's going to work out for you. Just keep on holding on. Be blessed. Have a great day. Live your life with purpose and on purpose. Love you too, Sister Noomsi. Uh, call me. We'll talk.